Hi and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147, and it's Kit Up a Painting time. Um, as you may be able to see, I don't have a painting here yet. And the reason for that is I'm going to let the app decide what painting that I do. So my new sort of favourite app at the moment is Tiny Decisions that makes my mind up for me. I have two different wheels for diamond painting. So I have um, one for which diamond painting, which is normal. And then I have one for large diamond paintings because I do want to choose whether I'm doing a big one or a small one. But since I've put all these in, I haven't kitted a small one up. That's not been a planned one. So I don't have any of my comparison ones in there. I don't have my Ever Moment multi-panel because that's going up in my home. That's something that I do want to work on sooner. But I tend to like to have three, maybe four paintings on the go. At the moment, it's three. Um, I have my comparison. I have my Ever Moment multi-panel, which is going in the house. But I don't want to rush it. I want to enjoy it, but I do want that doing. I also have my Minions, which is a big one. And then I want something else, which can sort of be done maybe a bit quicker, maybe a bit easier, you know, will bring me some more de-kitting videos and stuff as well. I like to vary it up what I'm doing. So I thought we'd let the app decide which one I'm going to do. So are you ready? Which one will it be? Oh, Swan and Deer, part one. Okay, and this is in round. This should be interesting because it's picked a diamond painting um, that actually came in two parts. I'm just getting my hanger down. So the reason I have the R on it is just to let me know that it's on my hanger that has the round. And I've got a few different diamond paintings on here. But in with this, I have a swan and a deer. So this actually came from Fan Cells as a complete set. So it came as a full set and I chopped it down the middle. And I have a part two and I have a part one. So it's chosen for me to do part one. Now the diamonds are together. So I do need to bear in mind when I'm picking my storage that this storage could be out of action for a while until my decision maker picks for me to do part two. <laughs> that could be fun, couldn't it? But hey, I am going with what the decision maker has said. Um, there are quite a few diamond paintings that I have. I mean, all the ones in my stash I do want to do but there are a few that I am a little bit keener to do than others. But I also want to make sure that I am doing a variety. So tiny decisions making the decision for me helps. So now I've got the painting. Now I know that it's around and it's from Fan Cells. I know exactly where to go for the diamonds because I have a... I have a, a, a box that all my diamonds are in and I actually have that many round diamonds that I have them split up. One of them is just fan cells and one of them is other companies. As you can imagine, I do get quite a bit in from fan cells and while I share some in giveaways, I do have quite a few otherwise. So what I'm just going to check, because it is a part two, Okay, the symbols are the same across both paintings. Okay, they are the same across them both. So that's fine. I will kit this up for this painting. And then when it chooses part two, I'm already kit up. That could be a very short video, couldn't it? Okay, so there's all my diamonds. Look at how many of these that we have. This is number four. They're all number four, bar that one, and they're number four. So there is a lot of background, and then there is a lot of others. There is 16 colours in total. 
So what I think I'm going to use, I'm going to use this 21 section storage. See, this is the only thing with me not knowing what painting I'm doing. I have to go hunting for storage. Um, I'm going to use this storage because I do have two of these. So if this one is tied up for a while, that's okay. Um, do they have DMC numbers? Okay, they do have DMC numbers on the packet, but it isn't on the canvas. So I do need two colours of pens. So I've got my purple and I've got my black. I'm just using these, is it Stadler? Triple, triplus fine liners. Um, I'm going to use my little small square stickers from my shop because I think they're pretty. And I'm going to use the purple to do the symbol code because to me that will be more prominent. I'm going to put those up at the top. So we've got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we've got A, C, D, E, F, H, and K. Okay, so that's all the numbers on there. Now, to get the DMC numbers, so that when it comes to de-kitting, I do need to get them off the packets. So let's actually do that first, only because they're not easy to write on once I've put them on the storage. So number four is 818. Now, I do know these pots aren't going to house all of um, the number four but I will just keep those as extra. Then we've got number three is 535. And I'm just writing this a little bit smaller because I only need it for reference, really, when it comes to de-kitting, which on this one actually won't be for a while because I need to wait until I've done part two. So number 11, oh, so number 11 is letter C, so C is 3731, number 10, just to confirm, is A, 3727, number 9, which is number 9, that's easier, 3326, it's easier when the numbers match, okay, 15 is H, is 3864 and then we've got quite a bit of this as well number 16 which is 5200 then we have number 6 which is 950 number 7 which is 3042 and then number 8 3064 and then last but not least number 12 which is D 3743 3770 and 3835 so just so that you can see where I'm getting those numbers from hopefully if the light will do it um, I have the big number 14, in fact let's try one with, let's try it on four, that might be easier because it's got more diamond colour in the back. So we've got number four and then this number here, 818, that's the DMC number. It's not on the canvas but it is on the diamonds which is good, so much better for when it comes to putting it away. So what I'm going to do now is let's Hit them up one at a time because I do have I do have a few extra pots and I may depending on how many fit in I may use the pot next to it for another one um, now these when they they 
came from fan cells, it did come as one big long strip and they were in order. I trimmed them up so that I could put them into a baggie, into this A5 bag to go into my storage. But they did come as one big long bit. Okay, so 154 is going to be fine. In fact, I should use my tray. just so that I don't make it. So I've got plenty of room in there for whatever it is I need. So when I'm getting to number four, I'm wondering whether a full bag will fit in one of these or not. So number two, 310. I'm happy to see there's not a lot of these considering it's for two paintings. Very happy with that amount. Number three, How pretty are those looking? Pretty, pretty. Um, I will use some, some of the round ones at some point as well, and maybe I'll use that depending on whether I'm doing a round or a square painting. But I currently have some squares spare where the diamonds went a little bit offset at the bottom, but I can use the top half of the sheet. So, waste not, want not. Okay, so number three has all fitted in. So number four, let's see how much of one bag we can get in. I expect to have more bags left over, I'm fine with that. What I'm trying to see is whether I can get a full bag in one. No, I can't. So what I'm thinking I'll do is I'll spread over with a second bag. Okay, so two bags. Sorry, one bag takes up two squares. Let me just close that one and tip these ones that are all over the place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it that one bag takes two and I'm going to put all these other number fours into this extra bag, into back into the bag that I stored them in. So all the number fours are in there as spares, but when both of these pots have ran out, I can then open one bag, spread them into the two pots, carry on until that runs out again. And it means that I'm not having grip seal bags with extras in, and then I'll just carry on. So number four is definitely those two. I could label that one up as well, but I actually find it easier to have it blank and know that anything to the right is the same. So number five, where did number five go? Oh, it's here. So this is a brighter pink. I made a proper mess with that one, didn't I? This is why we have the tray, people. So let's put in eight, nine, four. Oh, look at those pretty pinks. It is gonna be fun working on this. Okay. Number six, which is 950. And most of the colours, apart from that background and the white, are all fitting in one pot. So I'm not actually dealing with too many different colours as extras, which is nice and which is actually quite good considering it is diamonds for two paintings. Okay, number seven. Still going to move them over one sticker at a time though because I don't want the painting to make me out to be a liar <laughs> or mistaken really but let's let's not let the painting do that so I'm going to move those over it's number seven then we've got number eight Oh, these are moving over perfect. Okay, number nine, which is over here. This is where my strips have got out of order just because of the way that I store them. But I do like them all being in one bag. Is that all going to fit? Oh, yeah. That was one of the other bags that was probably as 
not as full as, as the white and the pink, but definitely full. Okay, so that's number nine. Then we have A, which to confirm is bag number 10. And I do have the canvas. It has got the symbol sheet on both ends of the canvas. So both part one that I'm doing now and part two do have the, the um, key on them. So I'm not going to hit a problem when it comes to doing the other half, whenever that may be. Then we move to C, which is number 11. Put that in. Oh, look how pretty that is looking. Okay. Then we have D, which to confirm on the key is number 12 to make sure that I'm definitely opening and putting in the right bags because if I get it wrong here then I'm not necessarily going to look at the key again while I'm doing this painting. It'd be quite nice to do quite a blocky painting actually. Of the paintings that I've got going at the minute the multi-panel ever moment is not a very blocky at all. It's very confetti, which is how it gets the detail in such a small space. The comparison of the couple under the moon has a, a couple of little places of blockiness, but in general, no, it's quite confetti. Even when it has a block of colour, it has scatterings of another shade in, which makes it not so blocky. Um, and the Minions is probably the one that is the most, that has the most, you know, sections that are quite blocky, but nothing compared to the background of this. So it'd be quite nice to do this one as a bit of a switch off, you know, not have to think as much. Just tip a load of the number four into the tray and just dot, dot, dot. <laughs> okay, 15. And I might actually do something a little bit different when it comes to the white. So, last sticker is the 5200 for the white. Now, we know already from doing number four that this will take two pots. So, I'm going to transfer this bag in and across two different pots. Now, because this is the last colour in the lot and there is only one other bag and I have a whole other tray here, I think I'm gonna let these go into the other pots because there's another reason for this. When I work on a colour that has extras, I always tend to work on the pot that's not got a label first. In fact, it just went into three pots. So what I'll tend to do when I'm working on this white, I'll actually use this pot to tip into my diamond painting tray until it's empty. And then I'll move on to this pot and then I'll move on to this pot. So by keeping, by keeping all the whites there, it will just whittle down and I only have one lot to deal with then as well, which is helpful. So that is the diamonds in there. I do need to grab my cover paper. I also think I'm going to put these in a smaller bag because there's not as many. So let me grab my cover sheets and I'll get the canvas Okay, I've got my cover sheets. I've also got a smaller bag. Let's see how this will transfer. Okay, we're doing good. So I'm just getting the sticker off the original bag to transfer over, just to this smaller one. It takes a little bit less space in my cart. I am gonna cut them all up 
as well. Let's have them as singles. It will be a lot easier when I need to fill up the number four to put my hand in and only grab one back. Especially if I'm trying to do it from within my cart, which quite often I do. Okay, so spare diamonds are done. That bag can go back into my reserves. Now, can I get this sticker off here? And this is just off the top cover paper. And I found that these stickers can come off really easily off some cover paper, but not off others. Even if they're both clear, some of them are a lot more forgiving than others. This one seems to be okay. That saves me rewriting another one. And do I want to put it on the front? I do, but I want to put it in the bottom left. Don't ask me why. So all I've done is transferred over the sticker. Now I know it says part one, which is not really relevant, but at least this will tell me what I kitted this up for, what these diamonds are for. And I'm not so much thinking now while I'm working on it. I'm thinking once this one's finished, when I haven't yet done the swan. So you see the swan is still in my stash. It's still on my decision wheel. I'm actually doing the deer, um, which is quite a few different colors. That's where all the white goes in the swan. So that is that done. Now I don't use these clear cover papers. I'm not keen on them at all. I much prefer to use the release paper cover sheets. And I've just noticed that I've managed to get something on this canvas. So I'm just going to see if I can, there we go, get rid of that. We don't need any of that nasty when we're doing it. And then I have cover paper sheets here. Now I've not actually tried it, but I don't think they'll work. These stickers on this paper. No, they come off too easy. As soon as you go to bend the paper, they flip off. It is wax paper sort of on both sides or waxy in, in feeling. Um, and I was gonna try and see if I could number these in some way to sort of section off my diamond painting and then put it through my decisions app because I'm in love with that app, but it's not gonna happen. So we'll do it this way instead. got one this way and one the other way it's just the way it works with these 30 by 40s quite often I do two across and then I have a very thin strip but I want to see how it works if I have them going up here just because these are more of a nice chunky size so if I'm feeling like just doing pink I can just pull off this section down here and just do a whole a whole section of pink but at least they stay nice sized sections. I think it's going to go a bit array at the top in the fact that it's quite a bit thinner, but oh, I need some more. These um, cover paper sheets, there is a link to the place that I purchased from them from under our favourites on my website. Um, they came in like a six by four size, six by four inches, and I cut them down so that they're three by two inches, and that fits perfect in my little passport holder, and it's a nice size to do. So each section, I find, if you prefer to work on a smaller section, then by all means cut them in half again, but I quite like working on that size section. And what I might actually do is, you know, do all this strip. It depends on how bored I get of just doing number four. Um, but I might work on sort of that strip. I may work across here and build the way up. I'm not quite sure yet how I'm going to work on it. I don't think it works as well letting the decisions app choose which square you do. Just because of lining stuff up if you happen to get the one in the middle. But that's okay. I've got two already on the go using that app. So this can be one of the ones that don't. So I've got the painting, I've got my diamonds, I've got my spares that can go into my little cart. 
and when I've finished they'll get combined with that and put on my shelf until the decision app picks the next one and then so that confirms that's the one that it picked if I come out of that in the fact of I'm just going to one of my other wheels just to show you and then I go back into which diamond painting that one has now been blacked out because it's now been classed as done and that app is now ready or that wheel is now ready for the next time I need to kit one up which will be a bit longer because I need to do this one first but hopefully that was fun for you um, I quite enjoyed that not knowing which one I'm kitting up until it comes to kitting it up made it a little bit different and it means that I don't have to decide between paintings so yay but thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.